Hi everyone, I'm, uh, my name is Herman Zhang, the marketing specialist for Palo Alto. Uh, this is my partner Chen Kang, the senior imaging clinic specialist. Today we're honored here to give you a digital subtraction angiography stimulation for the CR7100. So as you can see, we have a dummy plastic attachment on plastic tube on the table, which will be demonstrate how the angiography works later. And as you can see, I'm now wearing a lead apron, which means I'm going to operate in the observation room by using two extension monitors. Uh, also, we have a DSC injector. The syringe is filled with contrast media and will be automatically goes into the plastic tube to show how the subtraction is done. Uh, of course, we also have a paper control tablet. It shares with the same interface as the CR as the touch, touch screen panel on the CR. So you can see you can have radiography of the rustoscopy. But the most important, it has DSC options. That means the, the doctor can proceed a DSC operation right side at the table. So that's all about the CR. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's head to the observation room for further operation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the observation room. You can see we have two extension monitors right here, which we can operate the CR right to the workstation. And also we have a full switch for the exposure control. So as you can see, this is the interface for CR workstation. You can have your patient file management right here, or for the image capture, or image editing. So let's create a new file for first. Now the first thing we can do is to take a fluoroscopic image. So we can press the yellow paddle of the full switch. Now the fluoroscopic image is done. Next, choose DSA option and then press the blue paddle of the full switch. So the contrast media goes in, and the bone disappears, leaving only the blood vessel behind. And that's for all the DSA simulation. So that's our final DSA feature for DCR. But before the end of the demonstration, I'd like to show you some of the clinic images taken by DCR, and explain to you what kind of CR can apply to. So as you've been told before, the 71,000 has a maximum output power of 25 kilowatts which means it can be capable for participating in most of the peripheral vascular interventional radiology. So what you see right now is the subtraction image of the aerial track algorithm. You can see the contrast agent go through the internal and ex external iliac artery from the right common iliac artery. During this subtraction, the ileal and sacrum disappeared, leaving only the blood vessel behind. And this is an image of a renal arteriogram of a left kidney. In this angiography, an incision is often made at the iliac artery or the femoral artery. Then use the catheter to advance through the aorta and arrive at the renal artery. Contrast media are injected into the artery to confirm whether there's a stenosis system around here. For example, if a renal artery aneurysm is diagnosed, a PTA Percutaneous transcaptor angioplasty may be performed. During this procedure, radiologists may use inflatable balloon to expand the narrow part of the artery, then implant a metal stand to create a passageway in the artery, making sure the kidney to get enough blood supply. Now, this is an angiogram of the liver. One of the established interventional procedure for cancer treatment is transcatheter embolization. Take this image for example. In this case, the patient was diagnosed with stage three, stage two hepatocellular carcinoma or liver cancer. The tumors are susceptible due to metastasis. Therefore, a minimally invasive embolization therapy called TACE. Trans artery chemoembolization can be performed. Now, because the hepatic artery is the primary blood supply for liver tumors, the goal of the procedure is to deliver chemo chemothera chemotherapeutic drugs or embolization material to selectively cut down the blood supply for the tubers so that the growth of the tuber can be slowed down and eventually be killed. 
In this case, the patient will inject with the libido mixed with doxorubicin, which are common embolization materials for cancer treatment. Now, in some cases, the chemotherapeutic drugs can be replaced by radioactive microspheres like atrium 90 microspheres to selectively radiate the tumors and leaving healthy tissue relatively unaffected. Such procedure is called CERT, Selective Internal Radiologic Therapy. The PLX 7100 is also capable for performing non-vascular interventional procedures. The most common and frequent application so far is the image guidance in gastroenterology surgeries. So as you can see, this is a URCD procedure with ga gallstone extraction. It combines gastrointestinal endoscopy, as this one, and with x-ray to treat problems of bile and pancreatic ducts. In order to extract the stones out, the endoscope is the first in three mouths, and run things through esophagus, and then deliver at the duodenum. Then sending a balloon to expand the major papilla while catheter. The stone basket is later entered the common bile duct through the papilla to extract the stones out. Please notice the contrast agent is injected to confirm the obstructed valve duct is cleared. Now the image is just re re revealed or received from Branch Hospital of Nanjing Wulao Hospital. It is one of the largest comprehensive hospital in Nanjing, which is also a long-term business partner with our company. Take this gastroenterology department, for example. It is recorded that an average of 200 cases of ERCD procedure can be performed every month. Now, other non-vascular interventional procedures, including PCNL, percutaneous nephrolithotomy for removing kidney stones, or neuralysis for the treatment of neuropathy, can be also be available as a surgical option. Now, in addition to the clinic I just mentioned above, the 71,000 has the available to participate in the orthopedic service. For example, when it comes to the treatment of spinal deformities, scoliosis, or degenerative disc disease, the same one can be used for bone imaging and precisely targeting the implant position. You can see we have a pedicle screw emplacement at L4 and L5, both at a lateral view and a AP view. This is a case of a vertebral plastic, and this is a process for the cement injecting. All right, thanks for watching, and that concludes our demonstration of the CRF 7100. If you have any questions, please feel free to consult with our sales team. Goodbye.